Hey guys, what's up? So I am so excited because I got the clearance from my um, primary doctor to get my surgery. My blood work came back completely fine, so that's awesome. Um, I'm on my way to go make my final payment to my plastic surgeon and I'm 11 days out from my surgery date and I'm really excited but I'm also like really anxious and nervous. Um, as the days get closer and closer, I'm starting to worry about, again, my scar that's going to be there. I'm worried, like, what if I get an infection? Like, when can I start working again? I know for six weeks they say no working out and no lifting more than 10 pounds, but I'm like, I know I'll be okay making tutus after, you know, two weeks after my surgery, but... I'm like, I don't think I can make my shirts because my heat press, I have to push it down when I'm making the shirts. And so I'm like, I'm probably going to take all of that off my website. Um, I'm like, when can I start running again? When can I just, I don't know, I'm just getting like really nervous. And then I started thinking about Kanye West's mother and I'm like, what if I don't wake up for my surgery? What if I do wake up for my surgery? And then a few days later, like I die or something. I don't know. I'm a worry wart. And I kind of am a hypochondria too, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so combining those two types of people with getting surgery probably isn't a good thing, but I'm like, I got through it the first time. I didn't have all these worries or paranoias then. I don't know why I'm having them now, but I'm getting nervous. So yeah, so that's my update. I will be going in next Friday and that's what i'm going to be doing so i'm just excited to get this over and done with get my boobs back to one size and hopefully not have to deal with this well i mean i will have to deal with this probably another 10 to 12 years but hopefully i won't have to deal with it again before then so this is like a crazy journey guys so just know if you're ever going to get implants that this is not a one one and done this is a every 10 to 12 years you're going to have to probably get these things replaced and go through this every 10 to 12 years so just keep that in mind um i keep going back and forth i'm like i don't i again like i don't know if i would have done this the first time had i really realized what was involved in to keep getting them done over and over again and the anxiety and the stress um and the risks but I did it, so now I'm stuck in it, so yeah, so I just wanted to let you guys know that. I will be talking to you guys later. I will be filming the day of my surgery, not literally in the surgery room, but I will be updating, and so obviously that won't be posted till after my surgery when I'm well enough to edit the video and let you guys see what happens before I go in, after I come out, my healing process, all that fun stuff for anyone that is interested in thinking about getting their boobs done. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you can see that video footage when it comes and I'll talk to you guys later. So I just paid the rest of my surgery down with my doctor and I'm actually feeling a lot better than I was when I first filmed this video. Um, earlier I was telling you guys how I was like really paranoid and scared and nervous um, but I feel so much better after talking to my doctor and one of the nurses. Like, for some reason, I thought like you couldn't shower for like two or more weeks and I was like stressed out like how am I gonna like clean my body if I can't take a shower and like I don't know I was like really stressing out and they were like no like where did you hear that from like max three days at the longest you can't shower it might even be two days but being that I'm getting my stuff done on Friday it'll probably be three days because it's after your post-op visit which would be probably that Monday and so like to some people that might be like a stupid thing to be stressed out about but I like to take showers and I definitely don't like to go more than a day without showering and so I'm like two days three days is a lot but I'm like a week two weeks like I didn't know how I was gonna survive so they basically calmed my nerves for a lot of the things that I was stressing out about and they said that I do not need to be stressing out about any of those things so I'm feeling really good about that I'm also feeling really good because as I was there one of my friends was there also and I was in shock to see her because I was like, what are you doing here? And she's like, what are you doing here? And so um, I was just happy seeing another person that I know getting their surgery done. They didn't get implants, but they still got, you know, surgery done and, you know, they were fresh out of getting that done on Friday. Today's Monday. And so although they were still in a little bit of pain, even just seeing her made me feel a lot better 
at ease because obviously it's the same doctor. She didn't, she's not getting what I'm getting, but she, I believe, got a reduction. So regardless, they still had to cut into her boob area. And so just seeing her really relieved me. So I'm so happy about that. And so that also calmed my nerves. And everything else that I was stressing out about, like I pretty much am okay with now because I was paranoid about, you know, infections and, you know, how am I going to sleep? Like I just have so much on my brain, like it's just an override. So the doctor definitely made me feel so much better. And I also forgot to mention um, when I said I got my blood results back and that I was okay to get my surgery. Um, as I said in my previous video, I was pre-diabetic and this test was also going to let me know if I was still pre-diabetic and I'm no longer pre-diabetic, so I'm really happy about that. And not that that was going to affect my surgery, but it was affecting me because I love sugar and I'm addicted, clearly because I was pre-diabetic and I learned how to still eat sugar but not eat a lot of it and so I'm happy that I'm no longer pre-diabetic so I can still enjoy sugar but just in moderation. So that's really exciting news for me. So the next time I will do an update on my implants will be when I'm getting my surgery done. So the next time you see me, I will have already gotten my surgery. So make sure you guys are praying for me. I will keep you guys updated and posted. And thanks for following me and I'll talk to you guys later.